Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. This is your girl Empress Jim here to drop some jewels. So guys, up until June 18th, I am going to drop collective messages here on YouTube for you guys. I'll do some general messages and then, you know, I'll pump out some love things. But you can t check me out on Twitter where I am doing some more channel messages there for the signs as well as, you know, whole elements together so check me out over there you see the name in the thumbnail you know follow along but um yeah so we're gonna bust out these reads and see what spirit has to say for you guys you know enough with the jibber jabber whatever needs to be said will pop up on community posts or again like i said we'll be on twitter so let's get going here so uh we're gonna do this for the collective for today june 5th 2020 we're gonna see if there's any messages that spirit wants to say to you guys before we get out our main spread for today okay so let's see we have someone who's dealing with some anxiety here possibly from some communication that may be coming in regarding a family situation here it could be fire sign dealing with this here but um i feel you guys need to be strong and determined when it comes to dealing with this don't be afraid to close out this cycle because it's something that you know you guys need to do here Let's see what else we got going on for the collective here for today june 5th 2020 any messages that the collective needs to hear who's out there listening all right, somebody is unhappy with a relationship of the past here. Could be dealing with a mother figure, could be your mother, could be a child's mother, but whatever it is, it's a situation where I guess there was once stability there, but now somebody is very unsure here. I feel you've been blocking the situation for some time now, and again, it's time to close the cycle out and move forward here. You've had your guard up for a while now, and yeah, you just want to be more stable here and get out of this mindset you're in so whoever needed to hear that let her go let her go that's what i'm hearing just let her go okay that's a big story and it's probably be the last story here but um somebody is left out in the cold here with this five of pentacles this will be then we'll go forward with our messages here uh let's see star card seven of swords devil energy here Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. All right, instantly off the bat, I'm saying somebody's trying to heal off of a deceptive situation here. Um, it was something that really left them at a lag. Probably, um, I feel like it was so mind crippling that it was interfering with their ability to be productive in life here, like in their everyday. I feel that, you know, they the goal was to heal and get away from this energy. Yeah, get away from these blockages here. Somebody is really trying to just be loving, and you know. But being so loving to this person is not a good look. This person is no one you should be trying to love on, in all honesty. Like, they're not about loving you. They're all about mind games. And with you trying to give to this person, you are putting yourself at a lot. Like, I feel like you're doing a lot of giving here. A lot of giving, and this is really messing with you here. It's time for you to turn your back on this, whoever you are. It could be an Aquarius, could be actually a Capricorn here. I also got um heavy water energy here with this Cancer sitting here front and center, but um could also be any air sign here. But uh yeah, I think it's time that you just speak your truths here. Could be a Virgo you're dealing with here, and just tell them that you know you need to move on. It's time for you to be truthful now and move on because it's causing a lot of blockages here. I'm feeling a lot of frustration here. Like, a lot of frustration. You know, you got to get out of that situation. So, those are a few channel messages that we're going to get out. Yeah, do what's best for you. So, we're going to go straight with the divine here with these messages. I'm going um, with the Wild Offering Oracle deck and I have the Love and Light by Dorian Virtue to close out. So these have been cleared and shuffled. Uh, we're just going to see what the message is for the collective for today, June 5th, 2020. Let's see. That's it. So it's about abundance here. Divine Beloved, please show me 
how to feel fully deserving to receive. I released my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle for abundance, which is re very relevant, especially with this lunar eclipse that we're having here with Sagittarius. Also with full moon energy is best to release. Hopefully, I mean, I'm not against folks manifesting. I mean, if you know what you're doing and how you're doing it, by all means, rock with it. But I mean, full moons, it's best known that, you know, you use this energy to release, you know, and as you release things, especially this ego, you know, anything that's no longer serving you, the abundance does roll in. But let's see what the main message is here. It's striving. Show you these are pretty cards. Okay. It says eventually the individual ego's drive to make things happen falls away. Replaced with a relaxed, trusting openness to answer as they arise. Thank you, divine, for letting me move with the flow. So yeah, like I said, you know, just release. I mean, trying to manifest during this time, I mean, like I said, if it's what you want to do, do you. If spirit is calling you to do it, then do it. But again, just releasing and just being, you know, within this energy and taking what comes with it is like the best option right now. The universe is going to do what it's going to do regardless. You feel me? So we're going to get a 10 card spread on us here. See what's going on. Comment below. Let me let me know how you guys like the new setup. You know. Things of that nature. But if you like going back to the blackout type reads, you know, where things were already pre-shuffled or if you enjoy seeing the cards and you know what's going on in the background. So all right, let's get this message for the collective for today. June 5th, 2020, the Holy Ancestors, Guardians, and Guardians. God protect over this prayer. Yeah, there's some endings. Letting things go. Just releasing. We're just releasing today here. Okay. Message is there. The devil. Look at that. So, could be dealing with, you know, this is definitely, you know, Capricorn type energy. But this is anything that's low vibe and toxic. You know, this is that ego right here. And this is releasing and letting that go. Who's trying to peek through? What do we have? Judgment and the Ten of Swords here, guys. Okay. So, yeah, this is just really releasing and letting go of everything and anything that does not serve you anymore. Truly doing the best that you can to be stagnant, you know, kind of being in that hangman energy, becoming enlightened, understanding what's going on, but not trying to make too many moves. Just letting the universe and God do what needs to be done in this next 24 hours, okay? Um yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Sitting still because this ego is being released. And um, when I use this deck, sometimes I like to use a modern witch tarot at times when I, I use these two decks together to enter. Um, to clarify, sorry. But um, what I was saying is in the modern tarot deck, this couple is facing the devil as if they're, you know, absorbing, learning seeing what's going on with him. The chains are yoked behind where the locks are behind them. But in this image here, these folks aren't looking at the devil anymore. It's like they're not bothered ideally by what he has to say. They see that the chains are loose. They're hanging in front of them and they know that they can just like join together as a force and walk away from what this is here. They can easily slip these chains off from around their neck and just leave. So, you know, that is what this is showing to me, especially in this deck here is releasing and letting go, you know, knowing what is negative, knowing where your your big ego and your issues lie at, you know, where you're toxic, you know, I'm trying not to use that word, but I mean, in this case, yes, is knowing your toxic characteristics and knowing what needs to, you know, be released at this time so that you can have this abundance moving forward here, what you've been working on, what you've been hoping for, what you've been wishing for. And in the case of that last message coming out, I feel like, you know, what why you're feeling out of lack, you know, you feel like you need to give and love and do for that person. But in all reality, that is devil like energy. That is low vibe. Like you need to let it go. Like you're losing out, you know, you're trying to heal. So let's just see. Let's pull them out. Ace of Cups, look at that. New opportunities here. Okay. New emotional fulfillment here. Six of Wands, you know, forgot what this setup. I can show you guys all the way. Emperor, 
Aries energy there. More Aries energy with this full car here, taking a leap of faith, doing something new here. But again, you know, this is being emotionally satisfied, moving forward and setting boundaries here, okay? This is being victorious in what it is that you're setting your heart and your mindset to. Understanding that you need to set boundaries to yourself, boundaries to others, boundaries to possibly past life beliefs that you may have had, you know. It's time to allow those things to fade, you know, and take this new leap of faith here. Embark on this new journey. Embrace what this new energy has to bring with this lunar eclipse, okay? We have two of wands. The hermit. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's like you've been, you, you know this is something you want. You know going towards this new emotional fulfillment that you're seeking is everything to you. It's the action that you want to take. It is that Ace of Cups here. But again, there is a block in resistance because it, it could be that ego. It's this devil energy. You need to release it. I feel... Definitely with today and what's going on, you should definitely go in hermit mode, you know, and figure out the things that are binding you, holding you mentally, that are, you know, making you wishy-washy when it comes to your emotions and being able to stay grounded. I feel, you know, you need to embrace and embody this hermit Virgo energy here and just really gain control of yourself, control of your thoughts and release what no longer is serving you here so that you can move forward, get out of the bondage of your ego, of other people's opinions, of, you know, toxic relationships and family members who use and abuse you, you know, forgiving people and releasing that energy, okay? Yeah, Sun card, it, it's all going towards happiness. It, it, going in to get happiness, getting away from this cold, here this five of pentacles go again, you know? So this is getting away, getting out of that element. And, you know, when I think of the Sun card, I think of it as a pinnacle, okay? So... You have this five of pentacles here, which while you're in this hermit mode here, you know, you're figuring out, you know, what's keeping you trapped. You're seeing that you're at a like you're see you're you you're seeing it, you know, you're feeling it, you're sensing it, you're coming to senses and terms with it. And this energy today is allowing you to release so that you can move on to this happiness here. With this happiness and this five of pentacles, as I said, seeing the sun card as a pentacle, you have six pentacles. That brings balance into your life, okay? And if this pentacle is coming this big and this jolly and this naked and this carefree and this about it, about it, this is great balance. This is the epitome of balance that you've been searching and seeking, but you need to just allow this energy to do what it does, okay? So, last card out, justice. Can't make it up. A lot of energy to do what it do. Things will work out for you. You know, just release and let go. It's the time. It's the perfect, perfect time to release and let go, okay? Oh, let's see. These readings aren't as long, right? <laughs> we'll get a loved one coming up next. But uh, so we're going to pull from the love and light. And we're going to get three messages from here. See what's going on for the rest of the day, okay, guys? All right. So for the collective... Ooh. For the collective, June 5th, 2020. Let's get three messages for the collective, June 5th, 2020. All right. We have commit to a spirit of excellence. Whatever you do, do well. Ecclesius, chapter 9, verse 10. In case you want to look them up. Give peace a chance, releasing, in other words, right? So I'm leaving you a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. Located in John 14, 27. Okay. And then we have, see, everything through the eyes of love. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 to 5, okay? And the underlying message is spend more time outdoors. So, yep, get out, meditate, and release, okay? This is not the time to try to manifest anything again. We're just getting out and releasing. Release it into nature. Give it up. Give it to God, Most High, whoever it is that you pray to. Give it to Him. And the verse we have there is, 
They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. Psalm 1, verse 3. Okay. So, guys, that was your message for today, June 5th, 2020. You know, again, embrace this energy. Embrace this shift we're going through. You know, release the ego. Release the negativity. Release the level vibing energy. Cleanse yourself. And just get ready for tomorrow. Until next time, peace.